This week, the South Carolina National Guard announced a contingency plan to provide roughly 3,000 additional hospital beds to the state to deal with the coronavirus. News 19's Jacob Reynolds has the story. At a press conference this week, the South Carolina National Guard announced a three-tier plan to help medical facilities combat the coronavirus. What our plan will allow us to do is to add an additional 3,000 beds to give us an approximate number of 9,000 beds no later than May 5th of this year. The Guard plan, coordinated with nearly 10 agencies, would split resources into three tiers. Tier 3 is critical care, meaning existing hospitals would continue to offer intensive care and other typical hospital treatments. Dr. Eric Osman with Prisma Health explains the other tiers. So we're going to be in the Tier 2 hospitals uh, providing care that is appropriate for those patients. It won't be as intense as we're gonna provide in tier three, but it will be professional, high quality care on the level that South Carolinians will expect. The tier one facilities we're really using for quarantine and isolation of folks. The National Guard is currently inspecting 18 sites, including arenas and shuttered hospitals like Fairfield and Marlboro for use as tier two and one facilities. If a patient at Tier 1 or 2 facilities becomes critically ill, they would be transferred to traditional hospitals, which the Guard is calling Tier 3. Adjutant General Van McCarty says existing hospital staff would assist at the expanded facilities, along with contracted employees and potentially activated Guard men and women. The Guard plans to have the first additional 1,500 beds up and running by April 28th. In Columbia, Jacob Reynolds, News 19, WLTX. The South Carolina National Guard says hospital tents could also be used as Tier 1 and 2 facilities if needed.